So this is a, a piece of elm, very well seasoned, so it's very, very hard. I'm just going to carve a capital R into it just to sort of show how hard it can be. It's brilliant to carve into like this because it's very, very close grained. Um, so the cuts are very, very crisp. But the flip side of that is it's harder to work, it's not so soft. So when you're letter carving in wood, what you tend to do is cut down the centre of the stroke of the letter. And what this stops is the wood splitting across and beyond the lines. So that now is acting as a barrier. So when I go back up the stem to start roughing out the V, I'll do this in two parts because it's quite wide. You can see there the, the chips break out and don't and don't run across because you'd end up tearing right across. But what's nice about elm is it can take a lot of punishment so you can be quite quite rough with it. Serifs on the main stem of this are just using an inch chisel. Probably get away with using something a little bit wider, but the trouble is the harder you have to hit because you're having to cut more wood. Finish this stroke and then work. So again, the steps are pretty much the same. You start by putting a centre cut through the stroke to ensure that the cuts don't tear out. It also gives you a nice sharp point to bring the serif to. Again, with wood, helm like any wood you have to follow the grain, you can't go against the grain, so both these serifs cut against the grain. Extend the serif out, just... It's a little bit rough, so I'm doing it quite quick. That's the bottom serif done. I'm just going to choose what gouge to use. So again, it's the centre cut and then stop the splits running. This piece of elm has got reasonably straight grain for elm. It, it swirls. That hints at its quality because of those swirls. You don't have a split. Uh, you don't have a straight grain. So that's pretty much the outside of the bowl. I'll just work around the inside now, and I'll use a slightly narrower straight chisel. Let's go back to the gouge. the arm and again drop the centre line. Um, in this you can really hear the toughness of the elm. You know, I'm hitting it quite hard, harder than I would oak. The tools really struggle to make an impression. I love the story that the wood's got, the fine things. You'll see the way the grain has reacted to its environment. And all those stories are locked into that wood. I just love uncovering all of that. Uh, it's not particularly pretty. It could be a lot, a lot neater.